In our health, the city of Greenville will use their share of the state's opioid-related litigation settlements to form an opioid response team. Our council members voted unanimously to use the city's share of more than $525,000 to create the task force. It's focused on preventative outreach initiatives, education, and emergency response. Money comes from the nationwide settlements with four major drug manufacturers for their role in the addiction crisis, in which South Carolina received hundreds of millions of dollars. The impact of opioids goes well beyond city limits. DHEC's latest report says Greenville County had the most opioid overdose deaths in 2021. We spoke with a county paramedic who says it's important to educate people early on before they get addicted. We see the same people overdosing several times a year. Um, not everybody, but there's a handful of people that we'll see two or three times. Um, they end up ultimately uh, dying at some point. Um, and it's all over the place. We go to houses, sometimes, a lot of times in gas stations, public places. So it's uh, see a lot of the same people. It's kind of sad. Now, Greenville County has not received any of the opioid recovery fund money from the state. The city of Spartanburg and Pickens County are the only other places in the upstate to receive money in the settlement.